As you all know, at the beginning of term, the bishop graciously bestowed a beautiful piece of religious art onto Our Lady Immaculate College, the enchanting Child of Prague. There we are. Cheers and you, great fellow, all together. I still don't get what it's supposed to be. It's Jesus as a Wayne. <laughs> Why's he got a big red hat on? Nobody knows. It was the bishop's wish that he be passed around all the schools in the Derry Diocese. Therefore, we are joined this morning by Mr. Malone, headmaster of St. Benedict's, so that the handover ceremony can take place. You're very welcome, Mr. Malone. Though I fear you may have had a wasted journey. I've thought about it, and I'd much rather just hold on to him, actually. He brightens up my office. He doesn't answer back. I like the fella. And if the bishop has a problem with that, he can take it up with me. Now, what else was there? Hmm? Ah, yes. Uh, sadly, Sister Patrick has decided to leave us. She's returning to her missionary work, educating the heathen inhabitants of a primitive and savage place. She's taken a teaching post in Belfast, Sister? Precisely. The Board of Governors promised me that her replacement would arrive today, but as usual, they were talking out of there. I believe you've been expecting me. Here we go. that we should be doing, miss? What should you be doing? Now, there's the question. But let me ask you a better one. What is it you want to do? Get pissed. Mm -hmm. I'd quite like some feedback on the poetry assignment, actually. Oh, there is. It comes towards our final grade, people. This is 12A, right? That is correct, miss. And you are? Jenny. Jenny Joyce. Here we go, The Flyer by Jenny Joyce. You're not gonna read it out, are you? Of course, poetry should always be read aloud. Some flowers are tall, some flowers are small. Some flowers barely grow at all. Okay. That's not the end. It should be. Here's a poem about a dog. Here's another one about a dog. This one has no name on it. An English rose among thorns. Yeah, I can see why you might want to remain anonymous, all right. Dog poem, poem about a tree. This one's called Boys. I think boys are really class, especially the ones who have a nice ass. It's called Haiku. That's not what I would call it. Dog poem, dog poem. Oh, here someone's just drawn a picture of a dog. That is not bad, actually. Thank you very much. This person has written about how much they love their English class in an embarrassing attempt to suck up to the teacher. Dog poem. Dog poem. Cat poem. Yes. I think a lot of people in this class, and I don't know who might be saying this, well, they have a very basic grasp of the creative process. Whereas I've been writing for years, so I'm really not afraid to put myself out there. To be bold. To take risks. And you are? That's my cousin. Aaron Quinn. Aaron Quinn. Here we go. The bullets fired on the streets as I lie in my bed are nothing to the bullets being fired in my head. It's about the troubles, in a political sense, but also about my own troubles in a personal sense. No, I understand the weak analogy. This isn't bold, Aaron. It's someone failing to be bold. I'm sorry if the subtleties of my work were lost to you, Mr. Brin. Poetry is truth. And great poetry is raw and real and messy and glorious and ugly. It is dragged from the depths of the soul. It helps us understand each other and ourselves. Do you get what I'm saying? Yes. Yes, I think I do, actually. Not a boldies. It's not often in life you're allowed to tear up the page and start over. 
but I am gonna give you that chance. Impress me. 